السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ اینڈ ویلکم یو آل گائز ان دا لیکچر آف دی سیریز آف دی ایپیڈیمالوجی سبجیکٹ ان دا ٹوڈے لیکچر آف دی ایپیڈیمیالوجی وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دی سیمپل سائز کیلکولیشن دیر آر دی ڈفرنٹ میتھڈ اینڈ دین دی دیر آر دی ورائٹی آف دی فارمولاز ٹو کیلکولیٹ دی سیمپل سائز بٹ ان دا ٹوڈے لیکچر وی ول گو ٹو لرن the sample size calculation by using the Cochrane formula which is the famous one which is used by the researcher to calculate their sample size. Let's go what's the Cochrane formula says. The Cochrane formula the Cochrane formula is the formula which is calculate the sample size which is mostly used for the for the uh, cross sectional study design and for our the uh, surveys and where the the prevalence the prevalence of the any disease has been given if the prevalence of the uh, any disease is not given then you can calculate the sample size by taking the population proportion If the population proportion is a given, then you can also calculate the sample size by the using the Cochrane formula. So the Cochrane formula is written here: n is equal to z alpha by 2, okay, whole square, multiply by the prevalence or the proportion. The prevalence or the proportion, and then the multiply by the q. and we will go to divide this the z alpha by 2 multiply by pq divided by the bound of error okay this bound of error is actually a standard error which is we calculated in the bio states by using the uh, sigma divided by under root n then we will come up with the bound of error okay now here in this formula What is the z alpha by 2? If you are 90% confidence or 95% confidence or 99% confidence, then we have the values for these confidence interval on the z table. Then we know what is the 90% confidence. It means you are 0.1% chances of the error. So, 0.1% if you will go on the z table the value of the on the z table for the 90% is 1.64 and for the 95% is again is the 5% of the you have the 0.05 the chances of the error and you are 95% confidence for the 95% confidence if you will go to see the value on the z table it is 1.96 and for the 99% is you are the 1% chances of the error then definitely what is the value for the 99% of the z table is 2.58 okay so if the z alpha by 2 you will put the values which is according to given in your scenario by the confidence interval and the how much confidence interval you will use in your research project to collect the data and how much you are confidence you are the 99 95% confidence that the the mean values of my samples will be fall between this one this range and this range okay now now what is the p p is a proportion okay or a prevalence okay proportion are the prevalence how much the burden of the disease in the populations this is a p now what is the q q is the 1 minus p if you will minus the proportion of the disease from the 1 that it will we come up with the proportion of the q means if the you the if suppose this proportion as the prevalence though it it is the proportion of the those people who have the disease if you will minus this proportion from the one 
then it will come up with the Q, the answer of the Q. The Q are the those proportion of the population or those proportion of the population which is have not the disease. Okay. Now, what is the bound of error? The bound of the error is the sigma divided by under root n. That is, you will come up with the bound of error. Suppose that definitely you are taking the 95% confidence. So, the 0.5 is the bound of error over here. Means 95% you are the confidence. So, the remaining the 5% you have the error chances of the error. So, you can take it that if the bound of error is not given, then you can take the 5% of the bound of error here. Or you can take according to the scenario which is have been given to you. Now, suppose if any disease, hepatitis B, the prevalence of the hepatitis B is around 10%. Okay? And you are on the 95% confidence you are collecting the, the, the data. You are the 95% confidence. On the 95% confidence, you are going to collect the survey. Now, the bound of error is the 5%. Okay, now we will go to put on the values uh, in the formula of the Cochrane formula. How much, if the in alley population, where is the hepatitis B, is a 10% and the, you are the 95% confidence while you are conducting the survey and the bound of error is a 5%. So how much the sample has been required for your this type of the survey? Okay, now what we will do, we will put on the values in the Cochrane formula. N is equal to how much Z or alpha value, Z alpha by 2 value which is I written over here so on the 95 percent you have the 1.96 okay 1.96 you will go to square it now how much the the prevalence the prevalence is the 10 percent means 0.1 then what is the q i told you the q if you will minus this proportion of the disease which is have the hepatitis B, then what is how, how much? 1.1. Then we will go, what is the bound of error? Is a 5%, 5% is a 0 0.05, and we will square it. Now, n is equal to, if you will multi, uh, square the 1.96, it will come up 3.81. 8416, 8416, I think so. Okay, now if I minus the 0.1, it will come up with the point, point 0.9. Okay, if I'll 10% minus from the 1, it's come up with the 90%, means 0.9. And then we will square. If you will square the 0 0.055%, it will come up with the answer 0 0.0025. Okay, now let me calculate for you through the calculator 0 0.9 multiply by 0 0.1. It's come up with the 3.8416 multiply by 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.0025 okay now I will go to multiply the 0 0.09 with the 3.88416 it come up with the point 3457 okay and divided by 0 0.0025 now i'll be i'll go to divide it with the point 0 0.0025 so the answer the sample size is come up with 1.3829 if we'll round up it it will 
with the 1.38 so if you will go to conduct the survey uh, of this hepatitis b you have the need at least 1.38 sample size then we will go to calculate the you will come up with the concrete result 1.38 is the at least the sample size you have the need to conduct this survey to conduct this or uh, research project okay let me uh, if i'll increase the prevalence of this disease what will be happen on the sample size okay okay let's to take the same example of the research study of the hepatitis b in which i increase the prevalence of the hepatitis b from the 10 percent i increase it is 40 percent now we will go to see then how much the sample size will be required for the 40 percent when i will increase the sub prevalence of the disease from the 10 percent to 40 percent and is equal to z alpha v2 we will take the same one the 1.96 the whole square point now here is a point 4 40 means 4.4 point 4 is a 40 percent 1 minus point 4 okay and then again 0 0.05 is the bound of their whole square now n is equal to 1.96 if we will square 3.8416 multiply now if i'll minus 8.4 multiply by how much 0.6 it will come up with, i think with the 0.24 okay 0.4 multiply by 0 0.6 0.24 okay point okay let me if i'll square it 0 0.05 it will come up with the answer 0 0.0025 okay now n is equal to 3.416 multiply by 0.24 okay 0 0.0025 now 0 0.24 i will go to multiply it by the square of the z alpha by 2 with the value of z alpha by 2 3.8416 it is come up with the 0.9218 if 19 Two one two. Then I will multiply it by zero zero two five. Now point nine two two. Then I will go to divide it point zero zero two five. Then this it is come up with the three sixty eight point seven nine. If I will round up it three sixty nine. Now the three 69 see over here when the sample size was 10 percent then the sample size we calculated one point it is what around 168 now when i increase the sample size from 10 percent to 40 percent it is increased from 369 now for this study when this the per the hepatitis b prevalence is of 40 percent on the 95 percent confidence with the five percent of the bound of error you will wants to conduct this study then you have the need at least 369 sample size to calculate to uh, which is calculated 369 sample size at least you have needed to conduct this study okay or this survey so I hope uh, this is uh, this is the one method by the Cochrane formula. This is another formula by which you can also calculate the sample size. And this okay when the uh, the uh, confidence interval is not given 
and then the the prevalence of any disease is not given you have the only one the population size then how you will go to cal collect how you will go to calculate the sample size for this another formula which is the an easiest formula n is equal to n capital n which is the population size divided by 1 plus n e square e is the bound of error and that is again is the population size suppose a population is the 5000 of any town in which you wants to conduct a study the how much you have the sample size i have been required so the, you know the bound of error the bound of error is a 5% okay suppose the bound of error is the 5% now how much the sample size you have required to 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 conduct this study okay so n is equal to 5000 divided by 1 plus 5000 okay and then you will go to multiply it with the bound of error is of 0.2 whole square then again 5000 1 plus 5000 you will multiply this now what is the answer will come up if you will square it 0 0.0025 0 0.0025 if you will okay let me calculate for you 0 0.0025 multiply it by 5000 so it will come up with the tall 0.5 5000 1 plus the answer when you multiply this bound of error the square of the bound of error with the 5000 it come up with the 2 12.5 okay 12.5 plus 1 is 13 okay 5000 it's come up with 13.5 now we will divide 5000 we will divide the 5000 with 13.5 it's come up with the 370 okay 370 37 it when we will round up it okay is 370 okay now 370 is at least the sample size which is required to conduct the study of the that particular tone which the population has the 5000 and you know the bound of error is the 5% okay but you don't uh, you have you haven't the you are unknown about the confidence interval okay as the alpha by 2 so and you don't know about the prevalence of any disease but you have the you have the population total population in your hand so if you the population total in your hand and you have the bound of error then you can also calculate the sample size by using this this formula n divided by n capital divided by n1 plus n n is a capital and bound of n multiplies bound of error square so i hope it is today is a clear your concept how to how you will go to calculate the sample size for the cross-sectional study design, for the prevalence study design, in which you have the given the uh, confidence interval and uh, prevalence of the disease or the proportion of the, the any population has been given to you and the bound of error is also given to you, then you will go to use the Cochrane formula, okay? So, uh, it's a clear your concept about the sample size calculation in the last i request you all to watch my video lecture of the epidemiology it will enhance your knowledge about the epidemiology subject and the last i request you subscribe my youtube channel and in the last press the bell icon by pressing the bell icon you will get my new lecture as soon as i upload on my youtube channel thank you so much take care yourself love is